So oftentimes, we advise people to get on the ground. Get on the ground as often as you can. But sometimes, since we haven't made the shapes we need to make to get on the ground enough, or it's been a while since we've made those shapes, our body literally forgets how to do those shapes. So in this video, we're going to cover some very particular shapes you can make on the ground in order to restore some pliability in your body and to reconnect with your instinct to move naturally. So follow me on this video. It's kind of fun to move along the ground in these different positions. And I'm gonna make the point that, you know, I've got this little block here, but if you had an iPad or a laptop or a book, uh, you could bring it to the ground and use it while you make all these different shapes. Now, the best thing would be to be very mindful as you work through these shapes, but sometimes you gotta get some work done. So it's not a bad idea to use the opportunity to get down on the ground and make these different shapes while you do your work. So I'll demonstrate a little bit using this block, pretending it's like a, a, a notebook or an iPad or a, or a book. But the first shape we can try to make is the one I'm already in, and that's a side bent sit. So you see I've got my right leg in this position where it's beside me, and my foot is in what we call an open position here. So my toes are pointed out, and my left foot is touching my thigh. My right hip is not exactly on the floor right now. If I sat here for a while, it might settle in. So try, try this shape on the ground. And if this is too difficult for you, you could post with your hand on the ground. It's a nice resting position. And if this is a very easy shape for you to make and you were down here and you wanted to get some work done, you could simply hold your book in front of you or your device or you could lay it on the ground and fold forward. That creates some interesting sensations or any version of that, right? Various posting or not posting. And of course, if we go, on, go one way, usually we wanna go the other way. So you can try to switch to the other side and see how that feels. So now I've got my left foot in back and my right foot in front. Simple, right? All the same things. So now, let's say that I'm maybe checking some email on my iPad. I might get on the ground, and I do this every day, and I might come into this low kneeling position on the ground. But eventually my body is gonna just get some feedback to, from, from the ground, quick feedback, to tell me it's tired of being in that position. So I might change, and you could change along with me. I might come into this split low kneel position. Now my knees are really wide. And then I might get tired of that. So I might come into almost like a child's pose here with knees wide. Or maybe, keep working with me, maybe I wanna switch back to my side bent sit. Or maybe I wanna do a figure four. And I'm still working, resting, Maybe I decide to do the figure four on the other side and post an elbow. Back to side bent sit. Back to child's pose. Maybe we decide we need a little stretch in our feet, so we tuck our toes. Or maybe we decide we want a little different sensation in our hips, so we like lots of kids do, put our butt way in the air. Still able to read my book, answer email, do whatever I want on the ground. Maybe I get tired of that position and I come into a position where I'm posted on the ground, really getting some stretch in the hip flexors here on the right or the left. Maybe I return to this tall kneeling position, but then I decide to come off to the side and post. And I'll go the other direction too, posting on that side. 
Back to figure four. If we really want to get fancy, we could take that figure four, follow me on this if you can, and we could pop over that foot in the back. Still able to do work on my device or read my book, or just rest and enjoy the stretch. We come back to seated position, figure four on the other side, popping the hips over that back foot. Okay, so you get the idea. There's lots of shapes you can make on the ground. You could even turn that into a game where you exhale and make a shape with every exhale, moving in as many positions as you possibly can. But there's some ideas to get you started for moving on the ground, being on the ground. Try this every day. Spend at least 30 minutes, maybe even a lot longer on the ground every single day. You'll enjoy the results.